previously on You, Larry. Larry received a suspicious package in the mail. Inside was a video from East Early College High School principal, Yadimir el -Yuki. Larry immediately felt distraught and was frantic for a solution. In a moment of desperation, Larry turned to his youngest daughter, Lucy, for help. Little did Larry know, his adventure was only just beginning. I hope that even though this face is really too velocious You don't end up thinking that I am braggadocious Hopefully this melody isn't too precocious though Have you Larry? Displaying incredible independence for her age Lucy Lexicon set off on her quest to vanquish Iadimir L. Uten, relying heavily on the classified information she had acquired only the day before. Well, this proved to be a much more dangerous mission than anticipated, but I think I got the information you wanted. As suspected, Iadimir is living on the outskirts of Houston, Texas. She's here on what we believe to be a questionable visa and tasked with restoring honor, pride, and greatness to the vocabulary program at East Early College High School, regardless of the cost. However, due to our current political climate with the Russians, I'm going to be unable to assist you, aside from providing you with this information. What I can tell you is this. Every third Wednesday of every month, Yadimir visits her hairdresser just outside of Minute Maid Park at 1 o'clock. Additionally, Yadimir can be found exercising around 7 p.m. every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at her favorite gym, Hammer and Sickle Muscle in downtown Houston. She also tans there on Sundays. Lastly, I was able to track Yadimir back to her house on Marx's Court. I discovered she has a child, which was previously unknown. She reads her communist bedtime stories every night at 8 p.m. sharp. Look, I can't even tell you the risk that was involved in getting this information. We could have lost many good men. We lost one, but he kind of sucked anyway. Regardless, it is imperative that you don't tell anybody where you got this information. And even more important, that you don't tell me what you're gonna do with it. The less I know, the better. Yeah, I only helped her out because me and her dad go way back. We used to be on a bowling team together. In fact, back in 92, we won the Cowtown Classic. Months later, Larry, with his mind racing, decides to consult a doctor. I don't know, Doc. She's just so darn antagonistic, always pushing my buttons. There's all these loosely veiled threats and this constant barrage of nonverbal insults. I, I think she's out to cause me bodily harm. I really do. I mean, I, I could just be paranoid, but I don't think so. What do you think? Larry, I've told you before, this isn't the kind of thing I do. Well, what do you mean? I thought you were a doctor. Well, I am. To be honest with you, I have as many degrees as you have tires on your car. Most recently graduating from the Columbia University in New York City. However, my specialty is orthodontics. Orthodontics? Okay, so you're like a doctor. Got it. Sure am. Voted best orthodontist in Solano County by the Vacaville Reporter for the last two years. However, Larry, this is an appointment for you. This is an appointment for your daughter, Lainey. I gotta find a new doctor. After his embarrassing mistake at the orthodontist, Larry manages to procure a new doctor. Yeah, I don't know, Doc. It's just so hard to read her cold, heartless, inimical gaze sometimes. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, I'm pretty sure uh, she's out to cause me bodily harm. I can't prove it. Uh, but this is more than my imagination, right, Doc? Mm. 
Yadimir sure sounds like a significant source of stress in your life, Larry. Yadimir? I'm talking about my cat, Moonshine. Wait. Dr. Bergenstock, are you... Are you playing Pokemon again? No. Larry, focus. Shouldn't we be talking about your arch nemesis, Yadimir? Probably. Yeah, you know, it's probably because I didn't change her litter box for six days. Larry? Focus. Tell me about Yadimir. Yeah, oh, Yadimir. Uh, I don't know. She hasn't been much of an issue lately. We pretty much crushed East early in the vocab bowl. Uh, I told Lucy to take care of a Yadimir, and I haven't heard from her since. Wait, you haven't heard from whom since? Lucy or Yadimir? Uh, hmm. Now that you mention it, neither of them. You're telling me you haven't heard from your daughter Lucy since you told her to take care of Yadimir? Larry, what are you doing here? You need to find her. You, Larry, you need to find her. Yeah, but Moonshine. Larry, who cares about Moonshine? You need to find Lucy post haste. Oh my god, you're right! Lucy! And this was the moment Larry realized he had been an atrocious parent. Will he be able to find redemption? Will Lucy be found? Was Lucy able to track down Iatomir? Click subscribe to follow Larry's adventure and we'll see you next episode. But not before this word from our sponsor. Well, hey there. I'm Dr. Brian Scott, orthodontist here in Vacaville. We'd love you to come on down. We'll help straighten you out. Club Larry, say hi guys. Hi! Thank you so much for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll have another one for you next month. Um, you can support us in all kinds of ways, and in doing so, you can earn raffle tickets for all kinds of cool prizes. How can they get raffle tickets, guys? Y'all can subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, leave a comment down below on all the videos, master the vote have list associated with this episode. You can share us on social media. Follow us on Insta and Twitter at Larry Lexicon and buy some sweet merch. Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, every time you do one of those things, you'll get a raffle ticket. We will be raffling off a plethora of gift cards to a multitude of establishments at the end of this month for our next video. Uh, we would also like to give a shout out to Dr. Scott Orthodontics for sponsoring our first episode. It's awesome when the community supports us, so you should support them. And if you own a business and would like to sponsor an episode, let us know at vocabularylexicon at gmail.com. And finally, you guys, let's give East Early College High School a shout out. They've been awesome rivals, and we look forward to more competition this year. See you next month. Bye. What do you think? That was good. I think we're done. <laughs>